The mayor and members of the La Follette City Council have lots to talk about at this evening's workshop. A full page agenda awaits them. Roofing bids are not at the top of the agenda, but based on September's regular monthly meeting, those bids may be the most talked about item on the workshop agenda in a meeting that's scheduled to start at 6 o'clock. Three bids for new roofs and renovations were bid as one large bid a few weeks ago, and that's not the way council voted earlier in the summer to bid the jobs. It agreed to bid all three projects individually. At the last council meeting, it was decided not to take the lowest of the bundled bids submitted. Also up for discussion is to promote a couple of part-time employees to full-time, including one person in administration and one on the police force. WLAF News provides the story of tonight's workshop right here tomorrow. It's Louie Bluey week and also sounds like home. A night of music from the Cumberlands. Tickets are on sale now for Sounds Like Home, a night of music from the Cumberlands. A bluegrass concert featuring Dale Ann Bradley and Steve Gully and the Pinnacle Mountain Boys. Sounds Like Home will be coming up Friday, September 28th from 7 to 9.30 p.m. The gates will open at 6 at the Cove Lake Park in Caraville. The cost is $10 in advance, $12 at the door. You can get your tickets on www.louiebluey.org or at any of the following locations. The Campbell County Chamber of Commerce, People's Bank of the South, at all Campbell County locations, the Hampton Inn in Caraville, Rickard Ridge Restaurant in Cove Lake Park, Powell Clinch Utilities, La Follette and in Lake City, and First Volunteer Bank, all of their Campbell County locations. This concert kicks off the Louie Bluey Music and Arts Festival, which is Saturday, September 29th at Cove Lake State Park. This will be the sixth annual celebration of the life of Howard Armstrong. The hours are from 11 to 7. There will be live music and entertainment all day long with lots of stages and lots of booths with crafts and foods available. WLAF will have the community stage and we'll start out with David West and the Siderville gang. They will open at 11 o'clock and then on through the evening we'll have lots of great entertainment and close things out with the Gloryland boys on the last show of the evening. So we look forward to seeing all of you down there. We'll have a great time as usual. Seasonal influenza vaccine is now available at the Campbell County Health Department. A special flu vaccine clinic will be offered Friday, September 28th at the Campbell County Health Department. Please call the Health Department at 562-8351 to make an appointment to get your flu vaccine. Flu vaccine will also be available at other times by appointment. It takes about two weeks to be protected after you get the flu vaccine. So it's a good idea to get the vaccine as soon as it's available, said Charles Turner, the county director. The cost of the flu shot is $25 for each vaccine. Campbell County Youth is having their Fields of Faith on Wednesday, October 3rd at Campbell County High School football field from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. The youth from many area churches are participating in this event. And this Friday, September 28th, Campbell County Schools will be dismissed at 12.30 because of the homecoming at Jellicoe. And that's a look at our news for today. Stay tuned for the press release from the Campbell County Sheriff's Department coming up. And taking a look at the press release from the Campbell County Sheriff's Department, 22 people were booked into the county jail over the weekend. Chris Nicole Abercombe, 25, of Spruce Lane Caravel, was issued a citation. 23-year-old Bradley Allen Brock of Oak Lane in Caravel 
for criminal trespassing. Alan Castello, 24, of Knoxville, entered the jail to serve court-imposed time. Derek Matthew DeYoung, 25, of Spruce Lane in Caraville, for theft of property under $500. 32-year-old Oscar Bernardi Hispano of College Hill, La Follette, violation of the driver's license law, violation of the Tennessee financial law, and violation of a traffic control device. Danny Lee Green, 25, of Sugar Hollow Road, La Follette, for criminal impersonation on a capious bench warrant and violation of probation. 42-year-old Jimmy D. Greer of Rushville, Indiana, for public intoxication. Dago Gutrez, 52, of Long Hollow Road in Jacksboro, for failure to give a signal, failure to maintain control of a vehicle, DUI, and violation of the implied consent law. 65-year-old Lonnie Wayne Justice of Jellicoe entered the jail to serve court-imposed time. Lonnie Claude Marlowe, 63, of Cedar Creek Road, La Follette, for aggravated assault by domestic violence, a felony charge. Christopher Lee Mason, 33, of North Highway 25 in Duff, was picked up and held for another agency. 32-year-old Jason Lee McCarty of Coolidge Road, La Follette, possession of drug paraphernalia. Justin McIntosh, age 20, of Bowling Road in Lake City, for violation of probation. 20-year-old Taylor R. Parker of West Wolf Valley in Powell for drag racing, felony evading arrest, and failure to give a signal. Bruce Wayne Parks, 47, of Clarefield, for violation of the driver license law, address, driving while revoked, violation of the registration law, violation of the Tennessee financial law, speeding, and possession of marijuana. Jessica D. Rigney, 21, of Newcomb, for violation of the light law and driving while suspended. 42-year-old Virginia Smith of Pleasant Ridge Road, La Follette, for domestic assault. Carolyn Faye Teague, 52, of Clear Lake Drive in Jacksboro, second offense DUI, violation of the Tennessee financial law and no driver's license. Jessica Dawn Tolliver, 27 of East Virginia Avenue, La Follette, for child support. 21-year-old Jackson Tyler White of East Central Avenue, La Follette, entered the jail to serve court-imposed time. Morgan Woods, 25 of South 8th Street in La Follette, for no driver's license, violation of the seatbelt law, violation of the Tennessee financial law, and was held for another agency. And last today, 31-year-old Ronnie E. Woods of Tackett Creek Lane and Duff for domestic violence by assault, DUI, doing 51 in a 45-mile zone, violation of the Tennessee financial law, violation of a traffic control device, failure to give a signal, and theft of property under $500. And that's a look at the news for today. Thank you so much for joining us. Hope you'll stay with us throughout the evening, and we want to invite you to join us again back here tomorrow evening. We sing happy birthday to you, and may all your dreams come true. Happy, happy birthday. Oh, oh, oh. Good Monday evening, Campbell County. Jason Shockley here with you for your WLF and East Side Pizza and Deli birthday and anniversary club. We'll get started with our anniversaries. We have one to announce for today. That is Francis and Francis Campbell. Pretty easy to remember there, isn't it? Francis and Francis Campbell. For our birthdays, we have two belated birthdays to announce. That is Christina Hall Brook and Jean Evans. For today, 
Matthew Hill, and Scott Ward are celebrating birthdays. I want to wish a happy anniversary and happy birthday to all of you. Hope you've enjoyed your very special days. And want to remind everyone out there listening that each of those names are now eligible for Friday's drawing for two free dinners from Eastside Pizza and Deli. It's not too late. You have all week to call us, email us, or fax us. Let us know about any birthdays or anniversaries in your neck of the woods. We'll announce them right here on WLAF TV 12 and Radio 1450. We thank you for tuning in and invite you to stay tuned. Your news continues after this.